he can like take that anger and bring it back on Mojo here. All right, so in this top eight, we have seen four characters from Stocktaker thus far. Villager being probably the the most classic of his picks. The OG main. The OG, the one that really put him on the map here in New York. Thank you. But also worth noting, one that's very good against DK. Yep. Like, he's got all the zoning tools in the world to be able to chip at damage constantly. And keep Mojo at a range where he can't go for those big punishes that he really wants to. That bowling ball is going to be a big pain when Mojo is trying to get back to ledge. Yeah, especially because, like, Dark Young just spreads himself out so th mm -hmm. thin. Like, he literally spreads himself out for it. Oh, well, yo, but Stocktaker has the match, though. A lot of players would just be forced off stage at that point. Now, here's here's what's worth noting, especially about this matchup in particular. Really rough situation there for Mojo. Uh, yep, the, the Loy just stage spiked in there, and he wasn't ready for it. Usually Mojo is ready to check things like that, but I guess it was just very unexpected. It's just such a like chaotic situation to be in, because like Mojo's done this before. Like he's gotten the win, mm -hmm. different types of characters, mind you, but like he has done it. The villager's not impenetrable. He did beat the villager on training Tuesdays. Oh, oh but, but he yeah. messed up the gimp. That was a very smart idea, though. You got him. That was a pretty smart idea. It was a great gimp. The problem is, is that villager's so hard to get the balloon pop safely with mm -hmm. DK unless you're getting like. Rising forward air and rising down air are actually probably the best moves. Because if you go for the uppy, you can just get hit by the uppy and you're safe. You have an amazing drift once yep. you actually have your balloons popped. And you move up quite a bit too. Like a lot more than people seem to recognize. Like Villager is definitely not out of it yet if you pop those balloons. Late hit of tree coming up to grab that. And all this damage dragged up so fast. And that's going to do Game it. One. It's really hard for DK to get around that, now that I think about it. Yeah. Especially at higher percents where your legend tangibility is, like, not as much, you know what I mean? Yeah, and we touched on this a little bit earlier, where coming back off the ledge and coming back from off stage are probably the most difficult parts of DK in general. Mm -hmm. I would not be surprised if we end up seeing the Palutena or the Lucina pick from Mojo mm -hmm. moving forward. Heck, I could see him doing the Cloud pick. He has one of those, too. Cloud doesn't have as fun of a time against Villager as he did in uh, previous iterations. In general, it's easier for Villager to burst him off, but Mojo's sticking around with DK. I, I guess the pick into Innova is like good enough to justify staying on DK, as mm -hmm. it's a little bit harder for uh, for you to lock down space. And he gets the DK was way easier too. In general, just having a tighter stage allows for DK to to box with Villager more mm -hmm. often, and that's the part that's going to be more important. Ooh, Ooh. good aggressive read. And the taunt, too. All right. He got the taunt. <laughs> he knows he's done this before, and he knows he can do it again. And he wants the crowd on his side. I know. Listen, if anything, this is a top three for Mojo, the likes of which we have never seen. I mean, he's gotten, like, say, fifth before. He has, but it's like... This is the first time he's been in finals. Yes. He fought his way through such a tough bracket, and he did it so <laughs> cleanly, too. Um, I know he beat Soul Arts. Who else did he beat? I think he beat uh, Visceral as well. Who's been doing really well in our brackets <laughs> lately? Uh, noticeably, uh, Visceral actually has an upset on Mojo in the meta. <laughs> anyway, though, this is looking like a pretty even game, too. Mojo upset uh, Zenkai, Cyber, Soul Arts, <laughs> Visceral. So, a pretty hefty list of heads collected for Mojo in tonight's bracket. Oh, alone. is that going to be a DKO? Nah, Vill not just yet. Villager traditionally has always had like good percentages for Villager when it comes to kill confirms. Yep, small windows. Like you got a small target, awkward floaty movement, and not very light either. Like yeah. kind of midway. Like everything about Villager is very awkward when it comes to the killing part. Mm -hmm. So it's not too surprising to see that even with oh, these. Oh, but that's going to do it. Yeah, that's the big kill. Headbutt and a fist. Like, Mojo gets very little assistance in netting these kills. They're all hard-earned when it comes to fighting Stocktaker. You know, all on the flip side of the court, Stocktaker having to try to stay mobile with the zone that he's controlling, proving to be difficult, as Mojo throws himself in with, like, reckless abandon and gets an axe to the back of the head for it. Big chop. 
percentagely handily in Mojo's favor, if not for the fact that pellets are so good at interrupting a lot of DK's sturdier I, moves. Oh, that saved him. I'm pretty sure stock was in the percent there. I don't know if he still is. He could have even gone for something off stage because they were right against the ledge. Those Lloyds have really been coming in clutch this set. Um, game one, we saw the Lloyd cause a stock trade, I believe. Yeah, because of the uh, the mistech. In game two, that Lloyd might have just saved Stock Taker from losing this game. But he's still uh, behind. Gets the shield yeah. That's going to be it. When you get past 100%, mashing against that's starting to become a lost cause. Yeah, and even with good DI, like he was, mm -hmm. he was going all the way up. It just wasn't enough. Especially when you're that close to the ledge. Mm -hmm. It gives you even less time to mash. So two taking us in town. we're going to be 1-1 and we're going to town. Um, I think Stock wants those higher ceilings and he wants the times where there are no platforms. Stop those DKOs from connecting. Um, I don't think he got any that K Mojo got any that KO'd um, during um, that game, but the threat was there. He almost got hit by one of them. And um, Town also has like a pretty wide center platform, which um, gives Stock a lot of space to work with when it comes to zoning out DK. Yeah, if anything, this is just a really good stage for him to run about. Like, oh, and oh. an early kill off the three turn ups. Yep, Mojo overcommitted with that dash tack fair there and ended up paying the price. Actually, that you know, we were saying DK's down tilt's RNG before. <laughs> you know what else is RNG? <laughs> that's down air. <laughs> that's always been the good RNG. And it's worth noting that three turn ups is favorable. As in, like, your percentages lie in favor of you getting the three turn up. Meanwhile, I believe Isabel always only gets two. I know Correct. we used to play these two characters. Yes, and I've been playing a bit more Villager as well, so I've been doing a bit more research into the crunchier aspects mm -hmm. of the character. You still get a lot off of two turn up in this game because of how they tried to standardize its uh, oh, aspects, and that's just... Mojo tried to avoid the forward Ooh, smash there. Oh, the from It was a too. smart idea, but it just wasn't enough. He wasn't able to reach the ledge in time, and he just fell to his death. Like, there's so many little intricacies about this matchup that lean it so heavily to Villager's favor, from, like, the tools to the neutral interactions to, like, how DK wants to kill. Everything leans in favor of Villager. That's why I was saying in the, the previous game that everything that Mojo gets, he has to earn that. Even the cheesier kills don't find themselves so easily. Like, even with these cargo throw chucks into the blast zone, it has to be for Mojo grit. getting a grab, literally pressing against the ledge of the stage. Mm -hmm. And when you're a big body, it can be hard to get in and get that grab against Villager in the first place. Indeed. Good DI. That was, that was exceptional DI. But it's looking like a tough hill to climb right here. Yeah, especially with an entire stock ahead. Personally, um, I feel like the town pick has not been working out for Mojo. I feel like he should be banning the stage whenever possible because it seems to have been biting him in the butt, both in this set and this set against Zone. Sure. So anyway, it's 2-1 uh, Stock's favor, and we're going to be going into game four. Um, will Mojo be able to bring it to a game five? Maybe, but um, Stock's been on fire. I know he wants Smash. to get this win. I know he wants to make this loser's run. Oh, of course. And are we going to see the counter pick? Yes, yes we, we are. will. All right. So I feel like this is a lot of an easier matchup um, than DK. Um, oh, absolutely. Um, Especially with the Smashville pick. Mm -hmm. um, Lucina's disjointed hitboxes and a smaller hurtbox allow her to kind of chop through villager slingshots a lot more effectively. And her recovery is a lot harder um, to um, kind of get dunked on by the bowling ball. Uh, it's still pretty linear, but the intangibility is going to help a lot. Like, in general, Lucina has such a better time with challenging the air space that mm -hmm. Villager wants to, like, lazily occupy. Oh, but he's... That's he's crazy. Might have lost the stock because again. he was winning. Although, that's kind of how the matchup goes when you get edge guarded for an extended period of time. Mojo's really going in off stage against Stock Taker's Villager, and he seems to be paying the price for it. Yeah, but there's just so much reward off of going off stage with that. I, mind you, there's a ton of forward air, and I think we'd be getting a lot off of trying to put out a uh, sour spot dare, or even neutral air, just to mix it up, occupy space all the same. But regardless of that, he was able to even it up, and if he plays uh, this stock like last stock, minus um, the early KO, he's going to be sitting pretty. 
It's worth noting that Stock has a lot of experience in this particular matchup against Mr. E, where a lot of early game ultimate was spent with him, just him as Villager fighting off against uh, Lucina and Marth. Marth is a character we really don't see very often anymore. Most yeah. people stick with Lucina, but I've heard Leia has been trying him out again. Yeah, definitely, definitely some food for thought for discussion at a later time. Uh, right now we got good old Lucy on the field. They put in respectable work for Mojo. And like I brought up at the beginning of the set, this is one of the tried and true secondaries that Mojo's had that supplemented his DK, which I'm very glad that he has, as I feel like Lucina and Palutena alone cover such a wide array of uh, matchup matchups and play styles. That it, maybe DK might not be the best pick into. Yeah, it's like DK is like the front of the pack, but Mojo's aware that solo viability is a far cry from DK. I guess you could say he's the leader of the bunch. And most people know him pretty well. Yep. Well, Lu Lucina doing a fine job here as she tries to take the lead, but one small hit from Villager, and we're looking at a tie game once again. Like and that. there's that small hit. Tiny little pellet. Mm-hmm. Stock one. Well, Yo, stock. So, so who would win in a fight? A huge sword or a tiny pellet? I mean, listen, if you can't hit the pellet, what, what good is the big sword going to do? True. Plus, Lucina's only got one sword. Stock's got a lot of pellets. You know, I really want to say um, one thing I like about uh, Stock's play with Villager is how he kind of um, moves around with the watering can while he's trying to um, grow the tree. I kind of like those little movement mix ups from him so that you, it's harder to punish him for trying to go for it. It's so good. I've been telling him to do that for years with the character because, it, like, micro spacing with Villager, it may not seem as necessary because your zoning covers such a mid to far range. But it really does matter, especially in a matchup like where villagers' slower speeds can really hurt you. And three turnips actually saved his ass right there. Two turnips in one turn would not have been wide enough to cover. Ban villager, RNG. <laughs> oh, neutral air not picking off just yet. Oh, none of those were being the strong hits. But he's still in this. He doesn't have a lot of fuel left as far as his balloons are concerned. Yeah, he did not have a good angle to it come back like on. looks like we're going to be going to a game five set. That was an excellent edge guard on Mojo's part. Let's see what the pick is. We're going back into back Smash, to Smash Okay. Now the question is, are the characters staying the same? We've seen both of these guys being willing to counterpick as necessary. And Villager's done a fine job up to this point. But Villager can sit pretty on the bench as we so, see Palutena come out. While Mojo has a Palutena, I know he really doesn't like playing against her. So this might be a good pick by Stock Taker right here. And it's going to be really hard to avoid Palutena's hitboxes on a stage of small Smashville, too. This stage is... If not for Stadium, I would argue this is one of the best stages that Palutena yep. has at her disposal. She covers space so well, especially with the more aggressive play styles. Like, you just move in on your opponent with bear and dash attack, and that outright covers the, all of the space that's past the, the center platform. Yep. And that center platform is really good at, like, sharking people trying to go to that platform, too, and take advantage of it. So many tools in Palu's kit. It does a great job of controlling that platform itself, and... And that up smash is so good at catching Tushul get up. I've definitely been on the receiving end of that, as someone who literally spams it. Yeah, it's... It's rough to look at, man. All right. It's such a concise game plan, too. Like, you see Stock takes his lead, he goes right to center stage, and fighting... Outwards from center stage is so good for Palutena on a lot of stages, but I feel like especially so here. Yep, that platform is really going to disrupt jump-ins, and it's going to like force you to deal with Palutena's long-range grab, her invincible back air and dash attack, and stuff like that. Like Characters can, af can effectively turtle so well on this stage because mm -hmm. there's so much defensible space. And everything in Palutena's kit lets her convert that space into something that she can do something with. Yep. Because also keep in mind that, that down stock smash is gonna nearly cements this chokehold of a lead. Did you see the, the little cancel taunt? Jared Ooh. really wants this. Yeah, man. I mean, you know, regardless yeah. of him being one of our strongest players here on the island, he's playing like he's got something to prove tonight. Mm -hmm. He really wants this run back, and he really wants this win. I can tell from the way he's playing, and just from talking to him today. Oh, oh the low battery. That's Mojo, it. I believe. Is it going to affect anything? 
Time out his battery. Do it. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Make him drop a stock from the controller disconnecting. That would be the scummiest <laughs> way to win a set. That's definitely like notes of cheese. Like the hey, spirit of cheese haunts this building. I'd love to be part of a Dragon Smash video tonight. <laughs> Actually, that might even make GR Smash. Oh, that was great GI in the down throw to avoid uh, that down, pro down throw back here. Though. But it's looking really tough for Mojo here. He's just taking so much damage. <laughs> He's having such a hard time uh, getting, like you said, past Palu at center stage. Just using these big hitboxes, some of which are invincible. You can't really jump in. Lucina likes to jump a lot, in my personal opinion. And dash attack closes the curtain on Mr. Mojo Rising's performance as he closes out a third tonight. But that was that was a pretty impressive showing by him. A very strong performance. Mm -hmm.